Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in our today's video, we are going to learn about what is frost muslin diagram and what are its applications. So how does a frost muslin diagram look like? It looks like this. So we this is mostly for cyclic compounds having different number of carbons. It can be three membered ring, it can be four membered ring, five, six, seven, and eight membered ring. So let us first understand what is a frost muslin diagram. Okay, and then we will see its application. So what is a frost muslin diagram? Frost muslin diagram is the representation of, it is the representation of, of the energy levels of the molecular orbitals energy levels of the molecular orbitals this we basically get from the quantum chemistry which uh, which theory of quantum chemistry we get it from the huckel molecular orbital theory okay that we don't have to study here we will just see how we have to draw the diagram and what is the significance of this we get it from the huckel molecular orbital theory okay so it gives us the idea of the energy levels different energy levels of the molecular orbital of the compound we here we are talking about the cyclic compound because we know that the aromatic compounds or anti-aromatic compounds they are all what they are cyclic in nature okay now about what about uh, this was the definition of what is a frost muslin diagram now what is the application application is the most important application is to find out whether a compound is like it is used for the stability of to determine the stability of the aromatic compound stability of the aromatic and anti-aromatic compounds we will come to know the reason why aromatic we know that aromatic compounds are more stable then what is the stability order stability order is aromatic compounds are more stable than non-aromatic compound and the anti-aromatic compounds are the least stable okay now we will see what is the exact reason for this stability okay so we'll come to know the stability of aromatic and anti-aromatic compounds Okay, now let us see how do we exactly draw a frost muslin diagram. First is we draw a circle and in this circle you inscribe the shape of that particular compound. Inscribe the shape means draw the shape of that compound. Now you cannot draw any way for that also there is some rule. The first important rule is that at the base of the circle you will draw one molecular orbital for any shape. Okay, at the base, there will be one molecular orbital every time. That is one vertice of the shape will be here at the base of the circle. Then you can draw the other molecular orbital. So if it is a three-membered ring, how you will draw? If it is a three-membered ring, first one molecular orbital is at the base. Second one will be here and third one will be here. So how will you draw the shape? The shape will be something like this. Okay, and there are three molecular orbitals, pi1, pi2, and pi3. Okay, in this way you can draw. And if you talk about the basic structure of this, this midline separates the molecular orbitals from the and from it separates the bonding molecular orbitals from the antibonding molecular orbital. So below this line, these orbitals are bonding molecular orbitals which are more stable as they have lower energy bonding molecular orbitals and above this line whatever orbitals we will be drawing they are going to be anti bonding molecular orbitals okay now the question is how do you determine the stability Okay, how do you come to know whether a compound is aromatic or anti-aromatic? Okay, so if it is an aromatic compounds, all the molecular orbitals, 
के एम ओज ऑल द मोलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल्स आर कंप्लीटली फिल्ड ओके इफ देर आर कंप्लीटली फिल्ड दैट इज वाई इट इज गोइंग टू बी मोर स्टेबल ओके दी एरोमेटिक कंपाउंड आर गोइंग टू बी मोर स्टेबल बिकॉज ऑल दी मोलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल्स आर कंप्लीटली फिल्ड वेर एज इफ यू सी एंटी एरोमेटिक कंपाउंड ऑल दी एंटी एरोमेटिक कंपाउंड दे हैव वॉट दे आर गोइंग टू हैव डाई रेडिकल ओके लाइक दिस ओके देर विल बी टू अनपेड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन ऑल द इन ऑल दी एंटी एरोमेटिक कंपाउंड ओके इट इज अट इज कॉल्ड एज डाई रेडिकल बिकॉज देर आर टू अनपेड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स बिकॉज ऑफ दिस टू इन अनपेड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दिस कंपाउंड एंटी एरोमेटिक कंपाउंड बिकम्स अनस्टेबल और रिएक्टिव ओके अगेन इफ All the molecular orbitals are completely filled. There are no unpaired electrons. It is going to be more stable, and hence it is going to be aromatic compound. And anti-aromatic compound, you will see that in all the anti-aromatic compounds, there will be a di radical, which means there will be two unpaired electrons. That is the reason why anti-anti-aromatic compounds are less stable. Okay, now let us see one by one for all the member rings. So first is the three member ring. Okay, which is the example I have given here? It is cyclopropenyl cation. Okay, cyclopropene means it is a three-membered ring. En means double bond. Cation means there is a positive charge. So here there are how many electrons? Two pi electrons. So this follows which rule? Four n plus two pi electron rule, right? Four n is equal to zero will give me two pi electrons. So it is aromatic in nature. So if you see for aromatic, the two electrons, how many? Five electrons are there. Two electrons. So two electrons are occupying which or molecular orbital? Bonding molecular orbital. Okay. So one, two, and three. As I told, as I told you, the first molecular orbital that is one vertex should be below the base of the circle like this, and then rest of the carbons you can draw. For rest of the molecular orbitals you can draw like this. Okay. So here you can see it is paired. Okay, there are no unpaired electrons. That is why it is more stable. Okay, now let us see for the four-member ring. For four-member ring, this is cyclobutadiene. Okay, it is five four pi electron system. That is, it will follow four n pi electron rule. That is, n is equal to one. Okay, four pi electrons. So it is anti-aromatic. And why this is unstable? Here you can see there is this presence of di radical that I told you just now. this makes the molecule unstable okay again talking about the frost meslin diagram one is at the base of the circle then the two molecular orbitals are like this and the fourth one is here and one more thing pi is for the representation of bonding molecular orbital and if i want to show the anti bonding molecular orbital i show it as pi star Okay, pi star means it is anti-bonding molecular orbital. Okay, now let us see the next one, fifth one. Here you can see there are how many pi electrons? Two plus two, four. Four plus two, six. Here again for one molecular orbital it will be here, two, three, four, and five. So there are how many bonding molecular orbitals? Three. And how many anti-bonding molecular orbitals? Two. Okay, so here also you can see all the electrons are paired, and it is having six electrons. That is, it follows four n plus two pi electron rule. N is equal to one. If I put n is equal to one, I will get six pi electrons. Okay, all the electrons are filled. That is why it is aromatic and stable. Okay, now let us see for the six-membered ring. This is benzene. Okay, how, again, how will you draw the frost meslin diagram for this? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, this is going to be the energy levels of this molecular orbitals in six-membered ring. So there are six pi electrons. Again, it is going to be aromatic and stable because all the electrons are completely filled. There are how many bonding molecular orbitals? Three. How many anti-bonding molecular orbitals? Three. Okay, now last one is the seven-membered ring. Here you can see again there is six pi electrons. 
and it is going to be aromatic. So again, aromatic compound, you can see all the, all the electrons are completely filled in the molecular orbital diagram. Again, how do you draw the frost machine diagram? One molecular orbital at the base, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So how many bonding molecular orbitals? Three. How many anti-bonding molecular orbitals? Four. Okay, so here we come to the end of this video. I hope you have understood the reason for the stability of aromatic compounds and anti-aromatic compounds, which is most stable. Aromatic compounds are most stable and then non-aromatic compounds. And last is the least stable are anti-aromatic compounds because of the presence of diradical or unpaired electrons. Anti-aromatic. I hope you have understood this concept. Thank you so much.